video. Hooba, hooba, haba, haba, haba. What's going on today, guys? Today is going to be a very special video because normally I can for sure happily say I have proof, I have evidence that there was jackassery happening, but I really can't find anything except a whole bunch of people talking about it. Um, and people have reassured me that Jagex said they would. So if it's lies and fake, well then just don't hate me. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about the dual arena being removed from old school RuneScape and then also on RuneScape 3 as well. Completely being removed from Jagex altogether. Uh, supposedly Jagex said during one of their live streams that they're going to be removing the dual arena on old school RuneScape and then remove it on RS3. The reason behind it is from what I heard. I don't know if this is true or not, so uh, don't, you know, take this with a grain of salt. If you do, make sure you don't pour a grain of salt down your fucking pee hole. Uh, but anyways, supposedly in um, the UK, video games with games of chance, i.e. gambling, is being banned. I'm not entirely sure if that's true. If you guys know if it is true or not, well then let me know in some nasty deal the comments. But right now, we are going to show how much money Nightmare RH has made from the Dueling Arena. Because I actually have made quite a bit of moolah over the fucking years. It's been extraordinary awesome. And I've also actually lost a shit ton of money too. Um, however, in PKing terms, I show my deaths. Staking, it's really 50-50. I have some videos showing how much money I lost, but... At the same time, I've actually been really, really lucky staking years ago. When I say years ago, I mean like 10 years ago was the last time I really staked. Because now the mechanics on it are completely different. But ironically, before I did my first stake ever, which was 500 million GP, which we'll go ahead and get to that momentarily, I actually made a video called Why I Don't Go Staking. And I made this video February 24th of 2011. And then ironically, 45 days later, or ish, 40, 45 days ish later, I actually staked 500 million GP. Pretty awesome. But check this out from a blast from the past. Oh my fucking god, what's going on today, guys? Guys, we're gonna play a little game today. The game is called Stare at My Finger. Are you staring at my finger? Keep staring at my finger. Look at my finger, look at my finger, look at my finger. Keep looking at my finger. Are you guys staring at my finger? Look at my finger, look at my finger, look at my finger, look at my finger. Do not look at me. Look at my finger. Look at my finger, look at my finger, look at my finger. Oh! Motherfuckers keep asking me the same questions over and over and over. And the same questions pretty much are, why don't I go staking on RuneScape? Because I have so much moolah, I can technically afford to lose maybe a few hundred mil. Well, I'll be happy to answer this question that has been sent to me multiple fucking times now. The reason why I don't go staking, well, there's a lot of reasons why. Let me see. Reason one, you lose your money. You lose your fucking money. Yes, you do. You lose your money. You lose your fucking money. Yes, you do. You lose your fucking money. You lose your fucking money. You lose your fucking money. Can you believe that video was all the way back in 2011? Ironically, I actually somewhat look the same as I did back then, as you're seeing on the screen right now. Ah, I mean, I kind of have a, uh, a little bit of a hair problem after 10 years. Fucking Marine Corps taking my good lucks for me. Seriously, though, we're gonna see how much Nightmare Our Age has made over a sh very short time frame from staking because I have lost so much from PKing. Well, we're gonna see how much the Game of Chance has made Nightmare Our Age. How much now? Hmm, let's go ahead and see. <laughs> to be either a really good day that involves me exploding of joy 
Or today is going to be a really bad day that involves me smashing, lighting shit, and blowing shit up. God damn it, you are an asshole! Today, you suck balls! What the fuck? Die, motherfucker! Ah, uh, yes, we're gonna win! Win! Kill! Kill! So in conclusion, we have won uh, a little over 2.1 billion GP uh, from my legendary old big, big, big banana stakes. However, that number really isn't accurate because... Believe it or not, I actually did lose quite a bit of moolah staking. Even though I really only staked within maybe like a one year time frame from 2011 to a little bit into 2012. However, uh, whenever I did like a 200 mil stake, 300 mil stake, it didn't really go so well. However, when I did a lot of the big stakes, that's just when I had amazing luck. Not to mention I was recording all those, which was fucking phenomenal uh but yeah i think i ended up losing maybe around like uh eight nine hundred million gp from like staking uh which kind of really sucks but anyways if dual arena does go away from runescape i'm not gonna be heartbroken i think that i came out in the positive which i know i did i staked for a little bit uh did some legendary stakes for some youtube videos and then i pretty much walked away which was very happy, and I'm, I'm actually very proud of myself. Um, however, 10 years later, staking is no longer like it was before EOC. Um, if I went staking right now, I would not even know where the fuck to begin, because it's so different. Um, just everything in general. I, I, I just don't follow staking anymore. I did for a while, and then kind of really parted my ways, which I'm kind of really glad. But otherwise, right now I want to go to my email address and read off a question from one of you awesome and sexy people out there. Ask NightmareRH.Yahoo.com If you don't send me awesome and sexy hooba hooba questions, well then, uh, I guess I will have to force you guys to send them to me by pouring salt down your fucking urethra. Oh, it's going to be a bad day for some of you bastards. First, Hooba Hooba question. Boop. Hey, Nightmare, my question are... One, would you accept a P-Mod invitation by Jagex? Two, do you watch any RuneScape YouTubers or streamers? Best regards, E. Uh, first, would I accept a P-Mod invitation by Jagex? Fuck no, fuck no, fuck no, fuck no, titties, fuck no. I'd rather get some terrible, terrible... Uh, well, let's see. I've already had gonorrhea, already had chlamydia. Let's go ahead and try some syphilis this time. Why not? Fuck it, yeah. Much rather have syphilis and get, than rather accept a P-Mod imitation from the little Jagex uh, people in the sky. Uh, do I watch any other RuneScape YouTubers or streamers? This is kind of really going to sound, like, uh, stupid. 
Um, I really don't. Um, reason being is just because I, I, I mean, it, this is a terrible fucking excuse, but I don't really have the time to really sit down and watch other people. If I'm in front of my computer, I'm doing stuff for my own personal gain. Um, if I am going to watch something entertaining, I'll just, you know, watch something on, uh, Netflix or Amazon, uh, Prime. Um, yeah, I think that's like the dumbest answer I can really say. Uh, <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, it's, that's, you asked it, Mr. E. Anyways, uh, let me know some nasty dirty little comments if you enjoyed me staking uh, 10 years ago, if that brought joy to you people, and please thumbs up this video as well. Otherwise, I will see you wonderful people very soon. I'm probably going to be streaming tomorrow. I love you people. Thank you for watching, and bye. Oh, my God. <clears throat> what in the hell? <laughs> oh, God. We need to remediate that. But seriously now, we're going to see how much moolah Nightmare RH has made well over the years. Let's see how much has...